Good morning and welcome to St. Anthony's Catholic Church, Walport. Today is May 7th, Friday, the fifth week in Easter. Our special intention today is for Father John Hamilton. Before we begin, begin our liturgy, let us bow our heads and ask our Lord to be graciously present to us as we pray. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to save us, not condemn us. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are truly the word of life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the Paschal mystery, we celebrate, enjoy, may, may protect, and save us in perpetual power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch. Syria and Syria, of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number, who went out without any mandate from us, have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have, with one accord, decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have decided their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus, have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message 
by word of mouth. It is a decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival to Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations for your mercy towards to towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give thanks, thanks among the peoples, O Lord. Alleluia. Someone once tell me that love 
It's a special privilege that you get to annoy someone for the rest of your life. <laughs> because guess what? Being married, oftentimes being, being patient with each other, even when your spouse annoys you, you're allowed to annoy you or you tolerate that annoyance because it's part of the package that you love them so much that the annoyance, it's okay, to, I guess you live with it. And sometimes what someone once told me, love is about traveling on a wrong, long road trip together, that your marriage is tested. And oftentimes, you know, in life, oftentimes we think of what Jesus, Jesus say about, to, about love today, that love as how much should you love? Father has loved me. Yes, as the Father has loved you, love each other as I love you. Now, is that possible? Because how much did Jesus love us? That he died for us. He, died for us. he tells us there's no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friend. Now, if we're honest ourselves, do we love each other that much? <laughs> it depends upon the day, huh? Some day, maybe you love each other that a lot, but other day, you just want to strangle the other person. You know, your, your, your patient is wearing thin. So I guess the, my question to you is, it's easy to love when things are great. How does one love when one lives in the midst of COVID, where there's a lot of time that perhaps we're quarantined together, that we spend together so much, and we have the pressures of life that we have to deal with, some of us don't have jobs during this trying time. We're struggling with financial you know, obligation. We're struggling with the kids because they're home all the time. And of course, the, if you have kids all the time, what, do you, what, do you, what does that involve? Do you remember confusion. those days, Karen? Confusion. A lot of confusion. Kids are running around and asking their needs to be met all the time, that they always want something that you rarely ever have a moment of peace. That the only, perhaps the only moment of peace that you kind of have is the time in maybe the bathroom that you kind of snuck out there. And that's the only time that you ever have a peace and quiet. Not even. Okay, not even then. <laughs> not even then. Yeah, that's even questionable. But I mean, so how does one love in that kind of condition sometimes? That's right, working at it. That one's work, 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 work to make a marriage great. It doesn't mean that it's going to be perfect, is it? No. There will be time when your patience is worn thin. You said the things you shouldn't have said, the things, the time that perhaps you're so tired. But remember, when Jesus tells us, my grace is sufficient enough for you, when you're tired and weary, rely on God's grace. And you know, oftentimes we forget that. We choose to often pick and choose about how much we want God in our life. I say that because sometimes I've been hearing the word get, has gotten back to me now, that not all of you have been watching all of Mass. And you know what, you, what people sometimes tend to do? What? Think about what a typical Mass that people watch online out there. What do some people oftentimes will do? Just watch the homily? Yes, just watch the homily. It makes me feel kind of good, but however, is there something wrong with that? Yes. You're missing a lot of mass. Yeah, you're missing a lot of mass, and I get it. Mass oftentimes involves what? Be honest, repetition, prayers, rituals, correct? Yes. Participation. Okay, yes, but online is a little bit hard. Well, that's why you lose them, because it's hard to stay on top of that and to stay present. Yeah, doesn't that remind you of the times in, in your life when you sort of half listen to your spouse? The time when she just kind of goes on and on and on and you're on the computer or you're looking at the newspaper and you're sort of kind of nodding your head, mm -hmm. yes, honey, yes, honey, and you have no idea what she's talking about. Once in a while, you get yes, 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 yes just so that she kind of, she kind of leaves you alone. She'll just ramble on and on. But is that love in action? Yes, it's yeah. still love in action. action. It can be. <laughs> well, it's a time I, but I don't know about that ice. If you do it long enough, what happens to your relationship? Well, like my dad said to you, 
If that makes your mom happy, you let them do By pretending to listen? <laughs> By pretending to listen? You only pick up the important points, apparently. Apparently, yes. Selective hearing. <laughs> but I mean, but think about it. When our patience is, is thin, when we're tired, but yet we, we listen to each other. We really, really listen, even the stuff that just sort of, not, that's not really that important, that she's just rambling on about the weather or whatever, you know, something that is not quite a high on your list, or maybe perhaps things you have no interest in. But what does listening show, even if it's not something that you are particularly interested in? That you care. It's like the song, Father. When you really listen, love is what you find. That's it. Is what you what? Find. Love is what you find when you really listen. Oh, love is what you find when you really listen. Yes. By the way, for all who are watching, that's Ice <laughs> doing her karaoke. Karaoke. She loves karaoke. So I guess we have mass and karaoke <laughs> combined for your entertainment. But really, all kidding aside. Yes, it's when the times when our patience is worn thin, when we're tired and weary, that's when the opportunity to shine. And I just invite you, my brothers and sisters, oftentimes love involves little, little acts of kindness, involves patience and listening when we don't want to listen and we have no interest in what the other person perhaps is telling us. And you know, love doesn't mean, does mean that we always have interest, honestly. If we don't, and I, if we don't like baseball or football or whatever else the, our spouse is interested in, it doesn't mean that you know we may not like it, but we care about it because the person, because that's important to the other person. And so today, my brothers and sisters, I just invite you to put into practice what Jesus tells us today: to love one another as I have loved you, even at times, especially at times of lives when we have fallen short. Because in, it's, it's in the trying that we show that we love, that our love is put into practice. May God bless you this day and all the days of your life and help you to love one another as Jesus have loved you in your life. Amen. Trusting in God's love and mercy, let us turn to now call our needs and all the needs of the world. For Pope Francis, for Alexander, our bishop, and all our priests, bishops, and deacons, may God's grace be upon them to help to lead and guide their people to everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For each and every one of us, may we turn to the Lord each and every day of our life, especially at times in our lives when we, fall, we find ourselves lack of patience, be lacking patience, and lacking compassion to one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all the prayers that concern the words that lie deep in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all our brothers and sisters who have gone before us, trusting and believing God's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving, compassionate Father, accept the prayers of your family gathered here. Help each and every one of us, O Lord, to turn to you. That in doing so, may we experience your love and your kindness. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our song to the preparation of gifts is Vine and Branches, number 351. Verses. Verses.
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may bear to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other something. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Crucified, risen from the dead, and has redeemed us. Hallelujah. After spiritual communion, Jesus, Jesus thank you for coming into our hearts. We welcome you and unite ourselves to you, strengthen us in your love as we await the day we are reunited at the Eucharistic table. Amen. Song is number 337, Taste and See. Thank you. 
It's a bail one from the church and in the uh, Mize Asian Market in Newport, Oregon. Also, be sure to, uh, if you have an upcoming wedding anniversary, email us. Let us know it's, so we can celebrate with you with a mass intention. And also, we put it on our, re, re, on our board in the best of you so all the parishioners can share with you. So if you would like to do that, send in a picture of your wedding day, your poignant memory, and the current picture so we can get a good, so we can rejoice with you on this great day. Also, remember, if you'd like to make a full point for confession, please email me. My email address is on our webpage. Also, remember also, uh, if you'd like to make a mass intention, please email or snail mail your request to the office. And like a great marriage, a great parish, or a great community, is it something that you sort of find? <laughs> no, it's something like a marriage. It's something that you work at. You have to make it great. And so I just want to thank you for your hard work to make our parish great. And so I just invite you to continue to do so in your life by participating through prayer to support. And one of the great ways you support our parish is through financial means that helps to keep us the lights on and makes all ministry possible. So I humbly thank you for your great service in that regard. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is that they go to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our closing song is Alleluia, Love is Alive, from the 163. Oh, Lord. 
Thank you.